It was almost Christmas time on the island of Sodor. And all the engines are very excited, because tonight there is going to be a Christmas party at Napford Station. Murdoch, one of the largest and strongest engine on Sodor, likes Christmas. But he likes peace and quiet. And can be a bit very annoyed sometimes by the other engines if he doesn't get any peace and quiet. After his hard day's work, Sir Topham had asked Murdoch to pick up passengers from Nafford to Crovensgate. Toby was there. Hello, Murdoch. Are you all excited for the night? Murdoch smiled at Toby. I'm probably not going to be there tonight. I'd rather get some peace and quiet at my own shed. And Murdoch puffed away. Along the way, Murdoch's passengers decided to hum a jolly Christmas song to pass the time. Murdoch would usually get annoyed by this and give him a blast from his whistle, but Murdoch knew that this would ruin their Christmas spirit. So Murdoch continued along the way with a smile on his face. Merry Christmas, Murdoch! Merry Christmas, Thomas! At last, Murdoch's noisy journey made it to Crovin's Gate. Just then, Henry arrived. He was looking forward to the Christmas party tonight at Nafford. Hello, Murdoch. Are you all excited for the night? I'm not going to be there tonight, Henry. I'm going to be get back to the shed in peace. But Murdoch, you'll miss out all the fun. The children, the Christmas songs, and Santa Claus. Don't worry about me, Henry. I'll be all right. Okay, Murdoch, if you say so. Merry Christmas, Murdoch. And Henry puffed away. Ah, I'm my way to the shed for peace and quiet. Later that night, Murdoch finally arrived home to his shed. Peace and quiet at last, said Murdoch happily. He was about to sleep when Thomas arrived. Hey Murdoch, aren't you gonna come to the party tonight? Uh, not tonight, Thomas. I'm not going to the party. I'm rather have some peace and quiet. I'm not really into these noisy singing Christmas. Okay, Murdoch, suit yourself. And Thomas puffed away. <sighs> At last, said Murdoch. But his peace and quiet didn't last long. Murdoch! Huh? Uh, what? I need your help. Rosie has run out of water. Can you take her to the Nafford station? Why can't you find another engine? I need peace and quiet. There is no other engine available. You're the only one I can find. Can you please help me take Rosie and the passengers to Nafford station? Uh, all right, I'm, I suppose I must. Uh, this will be my last job for the night. And Murdoch puffed grumpily out of the shed. Don't worry, Rosie. I'll take you to Nafford Station.
Well done, Murdoch. You brought Rosie here just in time for the party. You're a really useful engine. Oh, thank you, sir. Now off to my shed. Murdoch, called Percy. Please join us. The party is fun, said Thomas. Yeah, said Henry. You wouldn't want to miss this party. Christmas is the time to be with your friends and enjoy the holidays with your friends. Tomorrow, Murdoch, you will have a day off since it's Christmas. Oh, thank you, sir. And yes, I will enjoy the party. You know, I don't mind the noisy Christmas. Thank you all for thinking about me. Merry Christmas, everyone. Murdoch did indeed spend a noisy Christmas party at Nafford with his friends.